Greetings from our sister parish staff and our many supporters. We hope you will find the following message from our executive director, Carrie Stengel, to be both informative and helpful. As we all learn how to deal with this global pandemic, Sister Parish has a very important role to play both in Central America and in the United States. Carrie, who is originally from Minnesota, lives in Guatemala City with her partner and their son, Milo. Please welcome Carrie Stengel. Hi, I'm Carrie. And I work with Sister Parish. As an organization, we facilitate relationships between communities of faith in the United States and Central America, like the relationship that your church has with the community in El Salvador or Guatemala. A big part of our work has been organizing delegation trips so that people can form personal relationships and community relationships that get strengthened over time. Of course, travel is not possible right now, and so our work is changing. Uh, we are seeing that people continue to seek out the connection with their partner community. So uh, please continue to share your joys and struggles, your prayers with your partner community, and they will do the same with you. And as Sister Parish staff, uh, we're more than happy to help however we can with communication. Uh, we've been setting up video calls and webinars and translating messages. Just let us know how we can help with that piece. Uh, right now in Guatemala and El Salvador, we are seeing that um, the communities where we work are really struggling under the economic impact of the shelter at home orders. Uh, many people have lost their jobs. Uh, people don't always have access to food or water. Um, public transportation is limited or banned, which means that people that rely on the informal economy have a very hard time getting around and finding people to buy uh, what they need to sell. Uh, remittances from the United States are also down. Um, and so, you know, Considering all of this and that it's already been in place for more than two months, we're seeing that many families are dealing with hunger on a regular basis. Um, we're also entering a very complicated time for the health crisis. Uh, cases are rising. There have been outbreaks in sweatshops and urban communities. Um, the hospital systems are completely overwhelmed and under-equipped. Um, as you can imagine, since those systems were overwhelmed and under-equipped before this crisis, um, and so we're seeing that in a lot of communities, they themselves are organizing to provide aid to the most in need in their communities. Um, you can see some of the pictures of that in uh, the video. And as Sister Parish, we also have a fundraiser to support communities with emergency aid. And that will be decided by the communities themselves. Uh, it could be food aid, it could be medical supplies, it could be agricultural supplies, really depending on the community and their needs. Um, my family and I are here in Guatemala City. Um, we're, my partner and I are at home with our three-year-old son, who is completely bouncing off the walls all the time, uh, but we're hanging in there. Um, and we recognize the privilege that we have um, at this time, and uh, also recognize that this is hard. It might be hard in different ways for different people, uh, but we're all going through some experience of having our lives change drastically and suddenly. My hope or what I'm choosing to believe can come out of all of this is that we could take this, uh, this opportunity to change some things that need to be changed. Uh, we could choose to rebuild based on the values of equality and mutual care for all humans and our planet. Uh, it won't be easy. It'll be a lot of work, but um, I, you know, I want to thank a lot of you who in your community are doing what you can to make change. Um, I thank all of you who are supporting people who are most negatively impacted by this in your community um, and around the world. And I invite you to continue to participate with Sister Parish as we do our small part as well in building a better world moving forward. Thank you.